late last year or, or mid middle of last year, we, we went through a process with, with Marty and Stradex where I first came to, to Marty um, with the issue of what do I tell people? I'm a little uh, more modest when it comes to the business. I don't like coming out and just saying, well, I own a company. It was multiple series of steps with, with Stradex where um, we went through a process. We first decided on what our, our vision was, our mission, which told our, the story to our customers in a very, just a glimpse that, that, that gets to the point quick. Um, the next step was the mission statement. We, we created that and pulled that out of me, what I think uh, our process is to get to our vision. Uh, the next step, which I think was the most important one, was the guiding principles. That was a series of detailed, um, a page long, you know, not too detailed, but to the point uh, of what we base our decisions on, what we base our um, relationships with as a company. Um, the first step was to, to say, you know, what am I and, and what do I do and how do I communicate that? Uh, so that started out, which really filtered down to, well, do the employees know that? turn to the customers know that. So the first step was to pull what I am, my my principles, you know, my um, ethics, my morals out of me and then filter it in, into my business because, you know, although we're all building a, a small business, a, a, an entity, it, it's still us. It's still, at the end of the day, it's based on what we are and what we've built on. So that uh, that was the first step, which was uh, a huge step. We filtered it down into a reading material, a one page long, which in turn um, was easy to communicate to the employees, which uh, filters through, not directly, but indirect employees involved, which was very important. You, know, I can't, I, you can't just sit up on the throne and spit out rules. I know this is not a corporate uh, big conglomerate that's going to rule every decision that's made. You know, these employees need to make their own decisions and that's important, but they need to base those decisions on X and those are the guiding principles uh, that, I, that, I, that I laid out. The employees that finished was fun for them. They, they, they were able to put in input, they were able to criticize things, um, they were able to uh, say good things about some of the process we make. But we came out of it with a process that was, you know, first of all based on, on me, which is important which is the company uh, but second of all had their input also so it keeps them involved and intertwined. I see a lot of decisions that are made uh, employees are looking at that and saying you know what that doesn't fit within our um, our guiding principles uh, that doesn't fit with our structure of that um, so we're going to look otherwise to a company that it will fit in. I think the most important part was the customer starts to see um, the vision in a uniform called CLE. Um, they know what they're going to get. They know what they're going to expect. They're going to get uh, quality. They're going to get et cetera, et cetera. And it's always going in, in on the same page. You know, that's the easiest way to put it. CLE uh, makes memorable moments with plastic. CLE provides lighting, sound, video. We own the equipment, we, we provide the equipment, we set up the equipment, but we also design, we fabricate, we uh, create a, a very memorable experience for our customers' benefit.